In this video we are going to learn the basic startup instructions for the Micro 2 air gauge readout. We will be demoing the single channel, single master style. The first step is on the back of the unit we will supply our air supply. We will have 55 to 110 psi shop air would be sufficient. The power supply. In the user guide you can verify the polarity settings and dip switch settings for your specific application. Next would be to turn on the power button on the rear panel. The next step is to turn the front panel air switch on. For this demo purpose we will be using a half inch ID air spindle and a half inch diameter ring gauge master. We will be setting the tolerance limits at the actual values for a plus or minus five tenths total gauging range. First step is to press the set high-low button. Your indicator will show low. We will enter our high and low tolerance value limits. This is done by the five key array here. We scroll over decades by using the left and right arrow and we can change the decade value using the up and down arrow keys. We will set our low value at 0.4995 We will push the set high-low button a second time. The indicator should read high. We will scroll across and add our value as our high value mass uh, tolerance. That's going to be 5005. Our next step will be to press the set master button. The air gauge readout defaults to the mean value of the tolerance limits as it has been set. You can edit these at this point the same way with the five key array if need be. The next step is to push the set master button a second time. With the setting master on the spindle, we'll verify that the air gauge is in the proper calibration parameters. The next step is to press the gauge 1x mode. The display will flash. We will go into the auto zero mode and zero the air spindle to the gauge by pressing the center button of the 5 key array with a double click. The display will go to bars for approximately 3 seconds. Return to the gauging mode when it has finished auto zeroing. You then can remove the master at that point, place on your sample part or your gate parts to be gauged, and begin checking parts. 